Hi everyone, this is uh, Alex Sheen, founder of Because I Said I Would, here on week 25 of 52 Promises. I'm in a time crunch. It's 11.14 p.m. and I need to get this video to you guys very soon, so I won't be doing as much editing, um, but I will be giving much more, I guess, um, thought process, uh, a little peek into what this week was like. Uh, I'm actually going to even talk a little bit about why I am so late on this video and some things I'm working on at this very moment, but let's start with the volunteer experience. I was actually in Sacramento, California this week, and I was speaking to the American Blood Centers, which is a nonprofit organization of nonprofit organizations that work in blood banking. And this was the opportunity to you know, speak to uh, about 80 professionals in this field. Uh, it was obviously I, I believe in, in donating blood. I'm actually very upset that I cannot donate blood. Uh, I did it a few times, or I should say two times. I uh, was inspired by a supporter to donate blood for the first time, but then I traveled to Korea, and because of where I traveled, uh, it disqualified me for I think like six months from donating blood. Now I'm going to Germany and Poland, and that may disqualify me again, but. At any rate, I very much believe in, in, in blood donation. I also am on the bone marrow registry um, for that kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm in Sacramento and I needed to get my volunteer opportunity in there, so I had the opportunity at volunteering at uh, Sacramento Children's Home, and I hope I got that name right, but uh, it, was a, it was a pretty cool experience because I did something that I typically, I guess I, I've never done yet, even 25 weeks haven't done it yet. Uh, and that's, uh, I was taking in donations and actually like cataloging them for sale on eBay. They were actually, if you remember these Beanie Babies, right? Uh, Beanie Babies were really big when I was like in middle school or something like that and somewhat of collector's items still in, in certain regards. And so somebody donated to the children's home just a four tubs full of Beanie Babies and said, do with it what you will. And so they wanted me to catalog all of the Beanie Babies. At first they just wanted me to write down, but we thought, well, maybe it'd be better to make an Excel spreadsheet, easier to search through and all that stuff. So I cataloged something like 150 Beanie Babies by writing all their names down and if they still have the tag and condition, things like that. So this got me really curious, right? I'm seeing all these Beanie Babies and I'm thinking, you know, are these things worth anything? And I started to eBay them myself as I was just, you know, sorting through it. And I found three of them that were potentially worth a thousand a piece, which is ludicrous to think that in 2014 someone would buy a Beanie Baby for anything, let alone a G Note. But Hopefully that actually pans out because you know three thousand dollars. It's a lot for a children's home. It's a lot for any nonprofit organization, especially when it's just kind of dropped off at your door. Um, so I was thinking, you know, this is this is kind of cool. I wonder how many nonprofits really do this. They say, you know, we'll just take in anything and eBay it. Um, probably not as traditional, but definitely you know worth taking a swing at. I. Um, I, you know, I, I went through all those Beanie Babies. They, they actually gave me a tour of the facility. Sacramento Children's Home was actually a, uh, an orphanage in a more uh, traditional sense. I don't know if that's the right phrasing to use, but it, it started a long time ago, and they gave me actually a tour of the facility. They told me a, a lot about what they do. They have a lot of programs to help um, children who are going through uh, perhaps mental illness or just struggling um, with violent behavior, a number of different concerns. It used to be both genders, male and female, but they um, somewhat recently um, reduced it down to just a male population and, and females who are in, in need, girls who are in the need, uh, actually go to a different nonprofit organization in the Sacramento area. Um, really nice place, uh, really uh, old, old place, and it was pretty, pretty cool to tour. Um, so, why am I so frantic right now? Why do I need to get this video to you immediately? We just made a post to, um, to Reddit and to Facebook about something I did last night. 
Uh, today is June 22nd, 2014, and one year ago today, um, actually at 3 a.m. it would have been one year ago, um, a supporter of ours, Matthew Cordell, was drinking and driving, and uh, he went the wrong way down a highway and killed a man. Uh, this is probably the promise uh, we are known most for, for whatever reason. Um, that confession video that we filmed, that I released, received 2 million views in 10 days. And um, so I wanted, I wanted to do something to honor Vincent Kinzani, the man who lost his life. You know, Matthew Corlew, he belongs in jail. That's where he belongs. Uh, it's just a, I know he feels bad, but he, he has to agree to some point. I mean, you got to pay for the mistakes that you make. And at the same time, I, I know he feels bad. So I, I wanted to, um, Greg, you can come through. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I, I wanted to, sorry, this is my roommate. I wanted to, uh, do something that Matt would have done if he was a free man, if he could legally drive, and that was offer drunk people uh, free rides home. Uh, so that's what I did last night, slash this very early this morning, and uh, and so I made a post about it uh, on Reddit and on our Facebook page. You can check it out. Uh, not my personal Facebook thing. Check out the because I said I would one, and you'll see um, you'll see kind of what happened, but. You know, I worry about Matt a little bit. He uh, he made a tough promise, you know, a, a promise that should have been made, a promise that that um, that should have been made. But you know, it's hard for a young man to give his freedom up, even though he doesn't deserve it. It's just hard. And I just hope that. He can stay strong in there and, and come out a better man than he went in, and that's really his goal. I wish I, I could have talked to him today, sent him a message um, to him, hoping that, you know, so he's not too rough. But um, but he'll pay his dues and, and hopefully recontribute back, you know, get into society and, and give back in, in ways that honor Vince's death. Um so this week was crazy with travel, with with um, last night, with volunteering and uh, and all kinds. Of, now I'm just babbling, but uh, anyways, I, I apologize for not editing anything down. We're doing retakes. I, I got to get this video to you in um, 38 minutes because I said I would. Right. Uh, have a uh, have a good week and thank you so much for tuning. I, I know again, you guys, it's like 15 of you or 12 of you watching this. I appreciate your support and your time. Peace.